Hello, my name is Jan Welch, and you're watching episode 15 of The Vault on a Venom Now Blading YouTube channel. Now, most of you who watch this show might have noticed this show has not happened for several months. It has been a very, very hectic summer for me. I've been racked with injuries. Lots of things have been going on. I've had some other projects I've been working on. So it's been just, I just haven't had time. But I'm back. I know you guys want it. I know you want to see some of these old clips. So today, I have footage of Omar Wysong. And this is footage that was in Razor's Steal This Video. I'm not sure who filmed it, but they sent me a tape with Omar clips on it. Some of them were already taken the best clips off the tape and put together just as the raw clips. On this tape, there was also a session at a school with Omar and Ken Lee. So we will watch that session as well at the end of the raw clips that he sent me. So I hope you enjoy this episode. If you do, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, hit the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload new videos. If you do enjoy this, make sure and share it with your friends. Let's check out episode 15 of The Vault with Omar Weissong right now. This first clip is pretty sick. Some outledge in LA, I'm not sure where it's at. <laughs> cars in the way. It's funny how many people use escape spots that are kind of gnarly with cars in the way. Luckily, the car's gone. Easy to lose, no problem. Omar with the Royale dropped to forward. Onto rail, negative, acid. Switch up, kind of sloppy landing. That clip was not used, but it was pretty cool, you know? He skated a lot in LA. That LA scene with like Josh Atono, there was a lot of negatives. So he probably got some from that. I know he was a very unique skater back in the day as well, so he had his own style. And a lot of people liked his style. And he had that super cool fish brain, the Royale. His disaster spot is pretty sick, the front Nugan. But also, you're gonna notice that in this video, a lot of these clips weren't used just because they're not that clean. I feel like some of it was more just B-roll that he sent me. Um, and I'm not sure who filmed this stuff. It's not all filmed that great. But it is some cool footage nonetheless and it's always nice to see some unseen footage from back of the day a lot of these clips have been never seen before from Omar Wysong that was cool that was a sick spot that's some nice civilian footage right here that one I like two thumbs up two thumbs up very cool and he does it again and I like this building Kind of mid-century modern la has so much cool architecture palm trees everything this is a famous spot downtown he skates this quite a bit i know he skated some other videos as well but that was cool royale was asked to the street back at the nighttime to do a backslide and that was also sick freestyle backslide made famous by people like john elliott and who loves i mean who doesn't love john elliott so sick Everybody loves it's John Elliott, stuff. right? Very cool. Um, and he just does a couple times and tries to make it perfect. Now this is a cool trick. Front new good 540 out. Hits the lady's car. She is pissed. She's pissed. And that was a really sick clip. That was definitely a usable clip of Omar. That car is pretty rad too. Totally, totally jacked up her hood. But looks like she's just left. Okay, so back to another school. Royale, drop Royale. That was really sick. Oh, yeah. That's a cool spot. And then he comes back the other way. And what's he gonna do? Switch, switch Royale to Royale. Both ways. And that one was a lot higher to jump on yeah. So that was pretty impressive. He always did have the ups go for which is pretty rad. And then he does that again. A little cleaner on a trick, but not as clean on the landing. And another Royale. And this is a long ledge, did do the whole thing, but it was still pretty cool. And this is a clip I used for sure, not this angle, or this angle, not this angle, but the next clip is the one I used in the video of Omar. And I thought this was a pretty cool shot. Um, the landing's a little hard to see, and the other angle didn't really do justice either. But that shot right there was pretty rad. And I think this is like the courthouse ledges or something, I've filmed there before with Stockwell, I believe. Another famous spot. 
Now this is the same spot that he did the disaster, Nugent and Back Royale, but he's actually going up it now. And this is super sick. That was a hammer. That was really rad. And you could tell, well, unless he wore the same clothes every day, it was only filmed in a few sessions. So, you know, if you've seen old One More White Song video sections, especially like Mind Game and stuff, he was a really talented skater. And he's actually a really talented artist right now. You should look him up on Instagram. Check the link in the description below. So you can see his artwork. It was really cool, like metal work. Very cool stuff. And he almost got hit by a car in that first one. Went back and laced it. Now this is the session with Ken Lee at the school. And this is just a bunch of raw clips. Ken Lee is someone who was very short-lived within rollerblading, but was so talented. I filmed a lot with Ken. Well, not a lot, lot, but quite a bit for the Daily Bread videos. He would come down to San Diego. I'd go up to L.A. with him, Robin McCona, uh, Graham, Graham Morris, or Graham something. Um, he's just super sick, super talented. He might have remembered a clip with him doing the full cab, true topsail at Roosevelt Elementary School in San Diego in one of my old videos. One of the coolest tricks ever. Full cab, anything. Very, very sick. And skate with Omar here on this ledge, and they're both trying to do some cool maneuvers. Ali Fossil 360 out, super sick. I'm not sure the name of the school, um, and I don't think I've ever been here. If you do know the name of it, go ahead and post it in the description below, or in the live chat if you're watching the premiere of this video. So Omar is, he's trying to do Ali Fishbrain on the thing, he's trying to do Negative Machio, some switch-ups, Ken, he's a true porn, he's a true Mizu, uh, true, uh, Ali Fish, they were both battling on Ali Fish, there was one other skater on this session, he didn't really lace anything so I don't have him in here and I'm not sure what his name was, but there was a third skater here, and I don't think it was Roman Latona, I'm pretty sure it wasn't, true porn. Star, which some people don't call it that anymore. I don't forgot what they even call it, but that's what we're gonna call it. That's what we always call it. Uh, Kim Lee, that that little sprinkler right there, it's pretty dangerous. That's a pretty dangerous spot. It's like an impalement spot, and Kim Lee is the only person who kind of ran into that, which is surprising because it's pretty gnarly. True Machio, very cool. True Soul, look at that. True Soul three out. That was pretty sick. And I really do miss these California schools. I mean, back in the 2000s. It was just 20 years ago. This is what, like 2002. 2001, 2002 this footage came, was filmed at. And I'm sure most of these spots aren't skatable. I'm sure some of them are still, but there's a lot of schools, a lot of legendary spots. And I know a lot of them capped them because they didn't want people skating them all over and over and over again. And some of these schools like this one, you can see it has a gate around it. The gated schools were always pretty funny because some of them, you could literally just reach your arm around through the, through the, you know, the pole and just open it from the inside. Uh, very bad security and completely useless to even have it. And, you know, it's a school. It's paid for by taxpayers. It should be open to the public for recreation, such as soccer or whatever, on their fields. You know, walk around and skate, no problem. What about where you live? Do you have, are your schools all fenced off? I know in Texas, most of them weren't, but some of them were. In Vermont, nothing fenced off. What about where you live? Do they fence off the schools? Do you have to jump fences? Do you still jump fences in your older age? Because personally, I didn't have a problem climbing a lot of these fences back then, but today, I could not physically do it with all my injuries and bad pains and whatnot. Anyway, Omar had a cool triple switch up here. Ken Lee, trying to 270 back Nugent, laces a switch up, and that's going to be it. That is the final trick, and he does a one-time cleaner, and boom. There we go. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you saw still this video, you would have noticed that I didn't use a lot of the clips from this tape. Just they weren't filmed that great. 
but there was some hammers in there nonetheless. Now, on this tape as well was some footage from a Santee crew. I think I probably recorded over the end of it, you know, after the stuff that was on the tape. But the audio didn't record or it didn't transfer over when I captured it. So I have to go back, I have to find that tape and recapture the end of the tape with those Santee clips. And I will upload that for the next episode of The Vault. And we can watch Damien, Lyle, and Nick, and Jimmy do their thing, Santee Crew style, on the streets of San Diego. Anyway, thanks so much for watching episode 15 of The Vault. I do hope you enjoyed it. And make sure and hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And hit that bell icon to be notified anytime I upload new videos and if you want to support this channel do that do all that stuff hit those buttons share 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 thank you so much take care i look forward to seeing you all very soon back here on the dead and now baiting youtube channel